All right, in this video, we're going to look at the 2020 Cincinnati Bearcat defense. Um, their defensive coordinator is Marcus Freeman, who took the uh, D.C. job at Notre Dame. Um, but we're going to look at his scheme, how he develops his players, how he develops uh, his personnel, uses his personnel to give different looks to the offense. Um, this is the American Conference Championship game against Tulsa this year. Um, this is really what they want to come out in. They like their 3-3-5 base. Uh, so let's look at the personnel, how they use it, um, and kind of what every guy um, player type is and then kind of what his job is. So we're going to start with the D-line. So the first guy we're going to look at is typically to the field. Um, this is more of a true D-in type. Um, it is very rangy. He's kind of your speed rush guy. is able to play in a lot more space. Um, the other two D-linemen are actually defensive tackles. And even though this guy kind of lines up in what would be traditionally the D-in spot, um, to the boundary. He's really a defensive tackle. Uh, that's what he's listed on in, in, in as their roster. Um, they play a lot of D tackles there. And the reason why they do that is because they slide him in a lot to play that interior lineman to get into the even front. And they can do that by two different ways. First, um, you know, they'll slide these guys inside, shift him over, um, and either play kind of a 3-3 a three, three look um, meaning a three tech and a three tech look kind of two B gap closed um, or they'll play like a G look or could even get into a shade look with a standard over or under front um, that even teams play and then first they can move their wheel linebacker down and he can be that weak side DN to get to the even front or they can take him out um, and put in a joker safety. And a lot of times they'll take out the mic when they do this, uh, and leave the wheel in because he's typically better of a cover guy. Um, and so he can still get to cover too weak if they get in some type of empty set and keep the safety over the top to that weak side. Um, so that's why they typically pull the mic in that situation. But um, this guy is what they call their jack. Um, he's, he's, this, he's basically the secondary type DN guy um, and is kind of a, an edge rusher as well. And so that's how they can get to their even front um, without having to utilize that many different personnel types um, and can even do so from the field without making that sub. Um, so that's typically what you're going to see from their front. Moving on to their linebacker core, here's your standard Mike linebacker, your Will linebacker. A lot of times they're going to play in your B gaps um, and give that 5-2 box, um, or they could give a more of a traditional stack look, but a lot of times you'll see them um, – in more of that 3-2 box. A lot of times you're going to see them pretty close like they are here. They're very close to the line of scrimmage. Um, they're very involved in the run fits. Um, less so in the past. They do they do obviously drop in pass coverage, um, but mainly involved more in the run fits um, and, and plugging up those gaps and getting things to the exterior. This guy right here um, who looks like kind of that joker safety if you're familiar with the Iowa State defense, um, but he's really not. He's really a Sam linebacker. Um, so he's kind of playing that deep linebacker position. He kind of gives that impression that he's a safety coming down, but really he's a linebacker that's moved back. Typically plays at about eight yards, um, you know, can, can come up and obviously give more of that traditional same look. Um, but a lot of times we'll play uh, to the middle of the field. Um, and again, still very much involved in the fits, um, but does give that impression like it's a three high look. Um, as far as the, the secondary goes, they again, they base out of a nickel. Um, here's their nickel. A lot of people call him a star. Um, same same type of kid. The difference that I see in, in this nickel um, than I do in, say, saving system or, um, you know, TCU's 425 is that this guy is really more of a true cover guy. So he's almost more of, of a defensive back than a true safety. Um, and so that's the difference that I see here, but he is obviously that fifth um, DB. So your standard safeties here, um, your left and right or down and cover, whatever you want to call them, and then your typical cornerbacks um, to the outside. So a lot of times this guy is to, to the field or to the passing strength. Um, is going to typically relate to number two. Um, so that's what they give is kind of their base 3-3-5 three, three, look. And then here in a second we're going to look at what does their 4 2 5 look, uh, look like? And then some of the other looks that they give. Um, so, just a, a great defense, a very much a multiple defense in a lot of situations that can adjust based on um, the formation sets that they're getting. All right, this next shot is how the Bearcats give more of their 4 2 5 look. 
So doing that, they slide that that weak side D in, who was really a D tackle inside. There's your other D tackle, your true uh, defensive ends to the field. Um, and then they bring in their jack um, defensive end as kind of that second guy to the boundary, typically to the weak side. Um, and so that's how they give their even front look. And again, they can adjust it with two, three techs or, um, you know, a G front or get into your standard over and under look that a lot of even teams will use. Um, here's your will linebacker. They typically take out that mic and bring in the joker. Um, here's your Sam linebacker. So there's your two backs, uh, two linebackers. So there's your four, two look. And then in the secondary, you have your nickel guy. Uh, who again, just as we said earlier, is really more of a true cover guy, um, kind of that DB type. Here's your cornerbacks. And then finally, your um, safeties that uh, typically you're too high guys. And either they're giving that middle of the field closed look or the middle field open. Just depends on the formation and depends on the coverage that they're wanting to give. Um, but that is how they get into their 4-2-5 look. Next clip we're going to look at is how they get into their 4-3 look. All right, in this last shot, we have uh, the game against Georgia. Uh, a little bit heavier of a personnel, wing set, two tight end set, whatever you want to call it. Um, here's where they're bringing in more of their traditional 4-3 look. Um, still, their um, they're true, more true DN is going to play to the tight end side. Um, they're going to bring in three DTs as kind of their interior guys, plus their uh, weak side of the box or weak side of their arm strength um, DN. Um, more of your true, um, you know, Will, Mike, Sam, linebackers, um, still going to stay, you know, cornerback, cornerback. Um, here's your safety, and your down safety is pressing number two, so they kind of give more of that 4-3, cover three look, um, but that's what they get into, a little bit heavier of a personnel or when they feel like um, they need to beef up a little bit in the run. Um, so uh, a lot of different ways that, that um, Mark Freeman's defense gets into um, – a 3-3-5 look, a nickel look, a 4-2-5 nickel look, um, a 4-3 look. Um, you know, they have the ability with personnel to get into um, even more of that 3-2-3 um, three, three high safety look that Iowa State gets into. So just a vast variety of multiple looks that they can give either without subbing guys or with a few different, you know, key substitutions um, can change the look and the presentation um, in the next video we're going to do, we're going to look at some of these different fronts and, and, and presentations that they give and how that works in the run fits. Um, I'm going to do it a lot like some of the other videos I've, I've breaking down of previous defenses, Baylor's, Georgia's, Iowa State's, um, talking about some of the positives and the negatives. So look forward to that video.